Disturbing phone calls have some people in Sugar Creek worried. The calls are supposed to be some kind of internet prank, but police say it's criminal. Fox Force Tess Koppelman explains why, and this story will see only on four. Tess. Yeah, recording and posting prank phone calls on the internet is becoming pretty popular, but police say what they're dealing with here is really kind of scary. The videos are called Nightmare on Burton Street, and one woman I spoke to said that the caller threatened to blow up her house. Pretty scary if you don't know it's just a joke. Well, my wife answered the phone, and uh, I could tell she was pretty upset. Brian Matthews says he took the phone from his wife and heard a profanity-laced rant, similar to the call we found on YouTube. You heard your kicked by a 40 year old The only detail he got, the man said his name was Frank Garrett. Hello? Yeah. This is Frank. He led us to believe that he was somewhere in the neighborhood, so um, my wife was frightened. And but we know nationally that it's been... It's been happening all over the country. Sugar Creek Police Chief Herb Soul says Brian wasn't the only victim. Seven of them right there. Including an elderly woman. And all of them live on the same street in Sugar Creek. They use a tre tremendous amount of profanity, and they threaten violence against the people. Police have even tried to trace a couple of calls. They're coming from a number of different locations, so obviously it's not an individual. And it appears to be a game. And part of that game is recording the calls and putting them on the Internet. Just about the fourth call you've made today. The recommendation that, that I have is that they simply not engage in any dialogue with them whatsoever, simply hang up the phone and not answer it. Police say local and federal investigators are on it, and the prank callers will be prosecuted. You know, it's just harassment is all it is. You know, it's, those folks need something to do with their lives. Brian calls it sick. I hope they catch whoever's doing this, uh, or if it's some kind of game, if they could just put a stop to it. So while I was looking into this today, I found other sites on the Internet that actually post victims' voices. So if someone were to curse out a prank caller, their voice would actually be used in a future prank call. Police say just hang up. Don't engage them at all. Be like that. So don't engage them at all and call police. Tess Koppelman, Fox 4 News.